you have to have okay. something good so wait is this is this the first video where we do this exactly so we should introduce okay. our viewers to our new way of uh yeah we, we are commenting the games from now on since uh, some of you said the audio quality is not the best and uh, we thought okay we just record our usual gameplay and we will just have a, a voiceover later on talking a bit about what is happening in the game and maybe also what is happen happening outside of the game in dual commander or in magic generally it's something like we will try out and uh see how it works i don't think this is already a made decision that this will be the the final solution for the future absolutely absolutely and we're we're as uh, always flexible uh right. but maybe we should introduce our decks here yeah mm, so martin is playing one of the newer commanders baral yeah. and kari yeah Karal, as I call it. <laughs> I think and that's a, it's a sin to call it that way, but go on. It's a, is it it's a, is it control deck mainly uh, with a lot of counter spells, a lot of the high hitting, uh, big hitting blue cards, uh, and mainly trying to just kind of grind out games a little bit with the monkey, hoping to maybe get one of the copy triggers or the the free cast triggers in there. Uh, but the main power comes from just being able to play the, the, all the blue cards with a pretty mana efficient uh, is it commander yeah and also being able to play blood moon etc yeah so that's also very good yeah I think it's uh, it's quite an interest interesting card like when it was spoilered uh, people were immediately jumping on the hype train oh yeah this is the next is it commander and they're probably right um it lets you play is it in a fashion that it's that is currently not represented by gerson because gerson is much more of an aggressive pile yeah. compared to baka or Baral and curry and yeah, i think it's a cool ability yeah, you have the monkey and you have the potential free cast yeah mm. on the other hand or on the other side of the table it was me playing Kenrith, and this is quite a special deck, which is based on an idea from a Czech friend, shout out to Vaslov, uh, who was trying to innovate a bit with breakfast piles these days. And he came up in a five color shell, he came up with uh, reanimating Renegade Rallier to get back breach and then just win by having all the breach pieces in your graveyard. So on one hand, I've included the devoted druid combo and everything that's related to that. So the vizier and swift of reconfiguration, as well as the new Golgari Tiver, it's called. Yeah, uh, the planeswalker that can bring back creatures with CMC2 from your graveyard and give, gives everything haste that has a tap ability. Quite a powerful card, I have to say. So I have either the Devoted Root combo uh, to end up in making infinite counters and, and win with the Haste and Trample from Kenrith, or we win by um, setting up the Breakfast combo. So we have the Cephalid and uh, one of the Nomads or Shuko targeting the, targeting the Cephalid. I mill my whole deck and then I, in the process of milling my, my deck, I have the Narcomoeba, which will enter the battlefield and I have three creatures on board. And then I can cast Red Return for the flashback cost, reanimating the Rallier. And from that on, I should win the game unless my opponent has something to interact with my graveyard. And that was a combo deck that I was <clears throat> playing for a few weeks. I enjoyed it a lot, Martin and me. Uh, and enjoyed a lot of breakfasting and alluring whatever in back in the days when Timna and Thrasius was uh, still a thing. So for for the nostalgia or for the nostalgic reasons, I I brought it back and thought we we have to share it with our community. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, what happened this game so far? Yeah, is <laughs> that, uh, I did nothing. 
uh, uh, you did a lot of ramping, a lot of dorking, uh, and then you slammed your commander. And I was like, hey, that's completely fine with me. Yeah. And then you saw a card that you haven't probably haven't seen in a while. Usually this doesn't really make the cut anymore for most decks. Uh, Order of Succession, which is uh, very good if you don't have a board. And your opponent has a large creature on there. And that is exactly what happened. And now I am a proud owner of a Kenrith. Of my commander, yes. And you can even and draw cards with it, with, with your mana. Yeah. Even and also, in theory, give it, give it haste and trample. But uh, that probably won't be that relevant. But yeah, um, this, uh, since you don't really have a lot of tools to, to get rid of my commander after I stole it and I had, had a lot of counter spells to back up this. Yeah. This is looking quite grim. It is. So my my initial plan was I was looking at the hand and I had like, I think I had at least one tutor, uh, a couple of creatures and one combo piece in hand. So if I cannot set up the combo early, then I can at least ramp it to my commander and you can counter it once or twice. Um, but I might be able to cast it for even seven or nine mana and just uh, grind out the matches or the ma the match actually um, that was my initial plan but then you you stole it and that's as you said quite hard for me to deal um, in order to get it back I was searching for the Teferi to bounce it but I think at that point it's it's already rough i mean i need the bird to survive in order to have a kenrith cast next turn and then gaining five life from uh from an activation and that turn there's no more mana left i think i i'm about to cast the vizier but we you might have already seen uh that martin has the uh the fire and eyes in hand so here are two targets, and I think we even had more burn spells. So this yeah, is this I, is not really looking good. My hand was quite stacked due to like drawing additional cards from just uh, one additional card from Kenrith, and in general, doing a lot with my commander. Yeah. Um, I think was there a lethal was there a lethal line there with flashing in the? No, there wasn't. No, no, there was not no, enough. No, no, no. no. Unless, yeah. unless you like, you could have uh, first fired the the the, birth, uh, the the birds, but even then, I think you're yeah. missing one damage. Yeah. Oh uh, no! Actually, you could have fired the bird, ping me for one, and then I cannot block. Yeah, but I I could have still blocked uh, Baral or the monkey. Yeah. No, no, no! But no, we're just no. kidding. Well, it's like uh, it would have been lethal, I think, because I, I, there is no way I can block the Bora, and that with the remaining two creatures, I either block Bara or I block. But the I would have, well, but I would have been forced to make that decision before the Teferi came down. That's right? yeah, that's true. That's so I, I didn't know what what would happen after that. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, um, there is a pretty good uh, position. I can just. Get down my creatures here and uh, show you a board that's quite hard to handle yeah. with uh, 4 HP left. And now the basic, the only thing you could have is like just straight combo from the top. Which, which is I, very, very unusual. Yeah, would be very, very lucky. Yeah. I have uh, Ken Rivers, the known card, and I can, I can bring that down. But as I said, then I don't have enough mana to uh, to either make life. I can also cast a Fauna Shaman in hand, uh, but you have one flying creature and one menace creature. So this yeah. is absolutely over. And we're going to the next one. I had the Slack Storm as well to, to burst you for additional three. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's sometimes the issue with this deck is that uh, I uh, double red is quite hard or casting multiple red spells. That's, here that's my hand is is good against a heavy creature hand so hands like this for example i and had a I'm, I'm i'm greeting for the slack storm here waiting for you to play something that gets handled with the three damage yeah which you do which i do 
and but it's <laughs> it's not very good for me. Yeah, it's it's not what you wanted to see. Uh, there was actually a top deck. Uh, I think I I kept the hand for similar reasons uh, as the, the the first hand. I had a lot of ramp and I could bring down Kenrith early, and then I top decked the the white plume, which made it even better. Yeah. Now I have the earliest possible initiative yeah and i'm sitting there with the with the snap custom agent hand so now i'm just sitting there trying to to find a window for to flash it in yeah um maybe playing the the bolt there was wrong so i would be more flexible in getting my snapcaster through with instant speed removal but i was just kind of okay i have to i have to clear the board as fast as possible and just try to get the snapcaster down but my sec my plans weren't as secret were not as secret anymore <laughs> after you showed me your thoughtsies which uh, made me flash in the snapcaster mage without getting any value of it yeah and then being forced to discard the chain lightning so no any blocker for you just uh which might have even been a mistake to not take the slack storm here yeah maybe mm, because like now the 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 sequence is obvious like you can attack with snapcaster mage clear the whole board because yeah. i will block with the wall and then you Force two. and then i I'm, I'm left with nothing except for the for the triggers that are still going which is on. still pretty good right it's still like i mean yeah yeah but i could maybe i could have uh maybe i could have kept uh, the elves on board or the wall, whatever you decide to uh, chain lightning. But I, I thought like it. Uh, my 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 thought procedure was, if I take the chain lightning, you're somewhat forced, and in some sequences you're forced to play the slagstorm because the chain lightning would offer you to have some counter magic backup and whatsoever. This way yeah. you're tapped out, and I can do whatever I want the next turn. Unfortunately, the best I can do is bring down a Vizier and you decide to cast your commander. And then I... Do you have, a, you have a very strong play with the Enlightened Tutor here? Yes, yeah, so I'm searching for the Swift. Uh, but then I have like I have to draw from Initiative, which draws the Swift, and then I draw a Sword. So I'm protected two times against anything you can present against the or you can present to get back the initiative which... yeah with the swift in hand i was already expecting to be kind of dead mm. expecting you to have the devoted to it already in hand but i was lucky that you didn't have that yet so uh but i was still like okay now i have to be scared of just losing instantly or yeah. almost losing instantly yeah. uh, against a lot of cards yeah, I mean, at the at the point I was casting, uh, the the Enlightened Tutor, I was just searching for an answer for Baron yeah. and Curry. Yeah, just trying to get the initiative through. Yep. And here you find a lot of cards. Yeah, unfortunately, the trigger is not the not, best. Not a creature that you would like to get into play. That's that's true. I mean, Fauna Shaman is fine. Yeah. It's not like my hand is set up to. Uh, do a lot of tutor stuff. If I find a creature, I can pitch it, cast through it, and then threaten you to to lose next turn. But it's very unlikely that this it's probably better than a dog or protection piece, right? So of course, of course. But I I think I was not drawing, not seeing a creature, and Fauna oh. Shaman does not have haste anyways. So I'm just casting Kenrith, and. Uh, it's pretty hard in is it colors to kill big yeah. creatures uh unless you bounce them and since that was not the case we decided to go to the next one yeah that game also drew a lot of lands as you saw it had uh a lot of uh i revealed three lands at the end and then so i had nine lands in total which is just way too much yeah this end was pretty mid-rangey i had the, the fable of the mirror breaker uh, I had some bolts, but only two lands, so my 
my way to the win here was to to find some more of them opt definitely helped there so i did find my third land i was keeping quite a tutor dense hand i had i think demonic uh intent Eldamri's call e tutor whatsoever and and, and no not 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 in line tutor but the ranger um so if i can protect the ranger or the ranger survives one turn then i could have simply or that was a plan to cast it on turn three search for the nomad and then i can sacrifice it in in my upkeep in order to um prevent you from from casting anything that would interfere with my combo so the ranger i'm, I'm searching for satellite here and uh the ranger is quite a good quite a good card here you have various options to go for there's the sylvan safekeeper that serves as protection and sometimes even as a option to fuel your graveyard for uh, a manual breach combo mm, obviously you have the nomad you have a mother so there are a couple of things to to go for and uh, there's also uh, if you have canrev on board and you have at that point you should have reached five mana already uh, you can loop ranger with the reanimation ability and basically prevent your opponent from either not casting any non-creature spells in your turn or their turn which is quite powerful against some strategies too yeah when when you tutored with the damage call i was kind of expecting to already be dead yeah luckily you you needed the ranger line so now I have to discard to draw two, trying to find a bolt and a, and a counter spell, which I think I will find. So now my line is very easy. Just kill your ranger to prevent you from um, preventing me from casting non creature spells or casting spells during your turn. And now getting the additional treasure, which is insane for me, just getting more mana out there. Yeah, the samurai on board is the goblin. Just to yeah, right. just to mention. I think most people would have realized that. Yeah. I no band so, in standard, actually. True. So, true. Yeah, it's. Uh, might, might might go down in price a little bit, which is nice for our format. Because this has been quite expensive, right? For for a yeah. rare from a recent. Absolutely. Is it a rare or mythic? It's rare, but I think it's like. It's played in Pioneer, it's played in ah. Modern, it's, it was played in Standard, so. Fair enough. Um, yeah. yeah, I played the DT. I just wanted to get rid of it to get you from getting some kind of uncomfortable shenanigans that you sometimes play. Or exactly, exactly. That was the plan to... More CMC one minor stuff. I could have tried to reanimate the ranger to get another yeah. protection shield, for example. Um, but I was unable to do that. Brain freeze in that situation is, is kind of useless. Yeah. Um, That's a sad thing about playing that combo. Yeah. I've had that... I played uh, the Will and uh, Eleven Eleven deck at a recent Prague event, and I had like two games that I lost because I just had Brain Freeze in hand mm. and not an actual card. So that's a little bit annoying. Maybe I lost it because of my play patterns too, but uh, it felt like I lost because I had Brain Freeze in hand and not an actual card. But yeah, I think that's sometimes just the case. That yeah. Lotus Petal is the least dead card because you, unless you have Savines in your deck, you, which uh, uh, is only possible if you have at least Jeskai. Most often you play four color or five color um, with with yeah. the breach combo, but yeah, unless you have Savines, then you are, and you will rarely cast breach to recast something from your graveyard. And just let it hit your graveyard and hope for some time uh for, for some situation to get it back with savines so basically both of those cards are dead and lotus petal yeah you can use it to cast some free spells every now and then but yeah. as you see i was cast trying to cast kenrith you had the mystic confluence even yeah, drawing two is very insane yeah and uh, also, you have like the the token that produces more mana. Yeah. And now there's the Magos. The Magos coming down, and that's pretty much game. Yeah. Five color decks usually don't fare too well against uh, 
the moon magic. Yeah, I was. I mean, I knew that you were, that you that you played Moon Blood Moon and Magus, but I haven't had any chance. I I I think I had one fetch land, and by the time I was fetching for plateau, it was like I had to make the decision to go for plateau in order to cast Ranger on curve. So there was no way of of searching any basic lands, and now my dried arbor is effectively dead. It's still a dried arbor, but yeah. In Any winning with quite a fun line, getting fury evoked and yes. then copying Copy it, it with the giving it haste to just deal six for one mana, which is quite fun. Yeah, and here I'm showing the the combo again. Yeah. Uh, explained in the beginning, have these three creatures, dread return into the renegade Relia. I'm not okay. sure, even if I would have had uh, the mana, if I would have been able to get the game under my control. But that's... Yeah, after, uh, after my Samurai connected twice, I think the game was quite over, yeah. just because of me having...